All right, guys, this is how I like to fillet my fluke, or AKA summer flounder for you folks down south. I don't typically do it like the charter boats do it. This is the way I learned how to do it. It's a little bit more practical for those of you maybe who don't have a lot of practice. I actually don't have a lot of practice filleting fluke. I like to scale and either stake my fluke or cook it whole. So here's the way I like to start on the white side. The belly is on the bottom here. So you're gonna find this little belly indent, right? Where the belly ends and the ribs start. And you're gonna kind of put your knife to it and try to save all the shoulder meat up here, right? You're gonna follow this line and you come down right along where the belly meets the ribs. Sorry about the dog barking there. Now, we're gonna come down the center of the spine here. It's gonna be on a little bit of a curve, so you're gonna follow that contour. It, there's a dark line in the middle, but you're gonna keep going where it kind of squigglies up here. You're just gonna keep going straight, all right? So you're just gonna cut through that. It's a little tough with the scales, but a nice sharp, nice sharp knife will do it just fine. Come up all the way to your, your shoulder cut. All right. Now, Take some scales out there. Now you've accessed the spine, right? So all you're gonna start doing now is curving your knife and following the spine, the, the curve of the spine, all the way down to the ribs. Lifting with your finger. Like so. That's it, you don't even need a fillet knife. This isn't really a fillet knife. It doesn't have a lot of bend to it. My fillet knives actually weren't that sharp, so. But you could use anything. If you watch some of the Japanese uh, sushi guys fillet fish, they actually don't even use fillet knives. They use like these giant chopping knives and, and they do it just fine. So. It's gonna follow these ribs on an angle all the way down. Now you're gonna get to the ribbon meat, which is this part right up here, right? And I like the ribbon meat. You can keep it on the fillets. It, it kind of tends to fall off. It's very, it's very good eating, by the way. But once you go all the way to the end of that skin there, you're just gonna punch your knife through. Like so. And just follow that fin right along the top there. Lifting the meat out of the way of the knife. Hopefully you guys can see that. Just like that. Get that rib bone. Let's see if you guys can see that there. All right. That off to the side. Same thing on this side. Just follow that spine. Follow the spine. <laughs> okay or, or fin not fin and ribbon meat there it is another nice another nice beauty flip around same thing on this side
right down the center of the spine here. Now the spine, remember, it does curve up just a little bit over here. It's a little harder to see on the dark side. But should be able to hit the spine all the way through. Like so. Same thing on the shoulder here. Find that belly. Save all this shoulder meat up here. Get under this fin like so. And cut all the way through till you feel that spine. On the belly, you're just gonna kind of cut till you feel the ribs. All right. Clean some scales off your knife. Put your thumb in. And start your knife at an angle. Ride that spine. That's the ribbon, we're gonna cut that off. Most people do. I, kinda, I, I butchered it just a little at the end, not the filet, I just kinda cut some bones in here, but I'll take those off. Not perfect, because like I said, I do not fillet fluke. This is probably, I don't know, I can count on one hand how many fluke I've actually filleted. Um, I don't do it very often. But this is the technique that I would recommend for beginners. You know, not like the charter boat technique where they do this thing in like 10 seconds. Um, but as you can see, You know, you can see my, it's perfect. It's, you know, as good as it's gonna get. There's no meat on here at all. I still think that in between here, you can eat all this stuff and the ribbons if you don't fillet it. But that's just my preference. I grew up eating uh, whole fish and staked fish, you know, scaled and gutted. But, you know, I understand people don't like the bones, you know, and uh, my wife prefers it filleted, boneless, and uh, fried like everybody else. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you how I skin it real quick. I'm sure I'm going to move this up because I need the edge of the board here. I'm sure you've seen this before. A lot of places, you know, real simple. Just give yourself a nice little slice here. I like to kind of do it on the opposite angle. Like so. Blade towards my left if I'm cutting towards the right. Then I'll give my thumb a little bit something to grab here on the filet. So you do that. Start it. Take your thumb and thumbnail if you can and uh, grip that filet and then just saw it back and forth. Don't even move your knife. Just saw that filet. Nice flat knife. Perfect. Perfect filet. Like I said, you can cut these ribbons off or leave them. For the purpose of frying, I like to cut them off. If I was just pan searing this, I would probably leave them on. It, it makes like nice little burnt bits in the pan and it's flavorful. But if you uh, bread and fry or beer batter, sometimes these things kind of just fall off in the fryer and they make a mess. You can keep them separate if you want. You know, they're, they're really, really good. That's it. Do the same thing for all four fillets and there you go. I think it's a little bit easier to do it this way than it is to do it with the whole fluke. And you know, like they ride the bone and I've seen a few videos. I'm sure you guys have also, if you're looking this up, but that's just my take on this. Um, yeah. So hopefully I'll do some cooking videos. I'm not going to do one today cause I'm a little bit of a rush. 
And if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.